Mamma? Felicia? What is happening? Horror enthusiasts, welcome to Video Arena. Today, we're ranking the top 10 best horror movies of 2023 to set the perfect Halloween mood. Get ready for a spine-chilling journey as we unveil the most bone-chilling films that have redefined the art of horror storytelling. Dive into the darkness. Here are the top 10 horror movies that truly define cinematic innovation and fear. If your favorite spooky flick didn't make the list, fear not, let us know in the comments. Number 10 The Nun 2 I think there's something here. That's not meant to be. The Nun 2 is the sequel to the 2018 film The Nun, and the ninth installment in the Conjuring universe. Sister Irene is once again called upon to investigate a demonic presence, this time at a convent where a young nun has taken her own life. As Sister Irene investigates, she soon discovers that the convent is haunted by Valak, the same demon that she faced in the first film. It's okay to be scared. I'm scared too. Valak is determined to possess Kate, and Sister Irene must find a way to stop her before it is too late. But as they face the terrifying entity, they realize that the true battle is not against Valak, but against the darkness within their own hearts. Number 9 Cobweb In a seemingly ordinary house, a young boy named Peter is plagued by a mysterious tapping sound coming from within the walls of his bedroom. As the sound grows louder and more insistent, Peter becomes convinced that something sinister is lurking within the depths of his home. Peter's parents dismiss his concerns as mere imagination, but Peter knows that there is something more to it. Mom? As he delves deeper into the mystery, he uncovers a dark secret that his parents have been hiding from him for years. The truth is far more terrifying than Peter could have ever imagined. His parents are not who they seem to be, and the tapping sound is just the beginning of a nightmare that is about to consume him. You have a beautiful imagination. It's going to get you into trouble one day. Number 8 The Last Voyage of the Demeter Powerful evil. We call him Dracula. In 1897, the Demeter sets sail from Varna, carrying a mysterious cargo for London. A young doctor unaware of the terrifying secret hidden within the ship's hold. Strange and unsettling events begin to unfold. Crew plagued by nightmares, a sense of dread permeates the air. Sailors start to disappear, leaving no trace behind. Search the ship. Everywhere. The cargo is not merely inanimate objects, but a malevolent force consuming the ship and its crew. As the Demeter drifts closer to its destination, Parker must find a way to stop the evil that lurks within its depths. But with each passing day, the darkness grows stronger, and Harker's chances of survival dwindle. May God have mercy on us all. Number 7 Sick This is incredible. Sick, and it's all ours. The only neighbor is miles away. As the COVID pandemic sweeps across the globe, two college students, Parker and Miri, decide to quarantine together in Parker's family's lake house. But what begins as a harmless getaway soon turns into a nightmare when they realize that they are not alone. A mysterious stranger is lurking in the shadows, watching their every move. Mary, jump in, water's fine. Who is this? I don't know. That's creepy, Parker. Trapped in the isolated lake house, Parker and Miri must find a way to survive the stranger's relentless attacks. But as the truth behind the stranger's identity is revealed, Parker and Miri realize that the real danger may come from within. Number 6 Totally Killer Your friends were murdered 35 years ago. It's not 1987 anymore. Stay safe, honey. 35 years after the shocking murders of three teens, an infamous killer returns on Halloween night to claim a fourth victim. When 17-year-old Jamie comes face to face with the masked maniac, she accidentally travels back in time to 1987. What year is it? 1987? Oh my god. I know. The 80s are almost over and I haven't even tried coke yet. Forced to navigate the unfamiliar culture of the 1980s, Jamie teams up with her teenage mother to take down the killer once and for all, before she's stuck in the past forever. Totally Killer is a hilarious and heartwarming slasher film that pays homage to the classic horror movies of the 1980s. Think, maybe if she did do blowjobs, 
she'd still be alive. Yeah, let's not make that the lesson. Number 5A Haunting in Venice. Come with me to a seance. Spot the con I can't. A woman hosts a seance with a famed medium to speak with her dead daughter one last time. Poirot, invited to the seance by his friend Ariadne Oliver, decides to attend to prove the medium is a fraud. But at the event, the medium reveals the young woman was actually murdered. Poirot investigates, but is hampered by a storm that cuts off the palazzo from the outside world. What is happening? He interviews the guests, but each has a motive for murder. Gathering the remaining guests together, Poirot reveals Rowena as the murderer. Obsessed with keeping Alicia for herself, A Haunting in Venice is a chilling and atmospheric horror film that will keep you on the edge of your seat, with its stunning visuals and suspenseful story. Don't look at me like I'm suspect, we're old friends. Every murder is somebody's old friend. Number 4 Infinity Pool What do you do for money then? He married rich. Well, <laughs> I actually came here looking for inspiration. Infinity Pool is a science fiction horror film. A wealthy couple vacationing at an isolated island resort who discover the island's perverse subculture of hedonistic tourism, reckless violence, and surreal horrors. After a tragic accident, James and M face a zero-tolerance policy for crime. Either you'll be executed, or, if you're rich enough to afford it, you can watch yourself die instead. Infinity Pool is a disturbing and thought-provoking film that explores the depths of human depravity. It is a must-see for fans of body horror and psychological thrillers. You know, James, do you worry they got the wrong man? Number 3 Talk to Me Talk to me. A group of friends who discover they are able to contact spirits using a mysterious embalmed hand only for things to go too far and unleash terrifying supernatural forces. Mia, who is grieving the death of her mother, becomes obsessed with using the hand to talk to her mother's spirit. She soon loses control and begins to experience hallucinations and nightmares. She was trying to reach out. I'm here. Sue, who is the only one of the four who is not using the hand, tries to warn her friends about the dangers, but they refuse to listen. As things spiral out of control, Sue must find a way to save her friends and stop the terrifying supernatural forces that they have unleashed. Talk to Me is a cautionary tale about the importance of respecting the dead and the dangers of messing with forces beyond our understanding. They like you. <laughs> Number 2 Evil Dead Rise So that we could stay one happy family. <laughs> Beth visits her sister Ellie in her Los Angeles apartment building. While the sisters are catching up, an earthquake strikes, uncovering a concealed chamber in the basement parking lot. Inside the chamber, the sisters find a mysterious book, which Ellie takes home with her. That night, Ellie's youngest child, Cassie, finds the book and begins to read from it. This unleashes a horde of malevolent deadites, who begin to attack the family. Beth and Ellie must fight for their lives and the lives of their children to survive the night. Evil Dead Rise is a bloody and gore-filled horror film, but it is also surprisingly emotional and suspenseful. Mommy's with the maggots now. Before we unveil our first pick, let's take a moment to explore some honorable mentions. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. The Boogeyman. Have to listen to me! Okay. I'm listening. <laughs> Sweetheart, let me handle it. No one will save you. Wrath of Becky. It was fun while it lasted. It's not over yet. The Blackening. Husera, the Bone Woman. <laughs> Number 1 Saw X. How much time do I have? Months. At best. 
I still have a lot of work that needs to be done. Saw X is the tenth installment in the Saw franchise, and it is arguably the best one yet. A group of people who are trapped in a series of Jigsaw-inspired traps. The traps are designed to test the victim's morality and to teach them a lesson about life. The film follows a group of people who are trapped in a series of Jigsaw-inspired traps. The traps are designed to test the victim's morality and to teach them a lesson about life. You will want to remain alert. One of the things that makes Saw X so good is that it returns to the roots of the franchise. The film is dark and gritty, and it features some truly gruesome traps. However, the film is also more than just a gorefest. It is also a film about morality and redemption. Another thing that makes Saw X so good is that it features the return of Tobin Bell as Jigsaw. Bell is one of the things that makes the Saw franchise so special, and he is excellent in this film. This is not retribution, it's a reawakening. Thank you for watching and we hope you enjoyed it. Let us know in the comments which one was your favorite from the list, and don't forget to like and subscribe.